Hello everyone and welcome to another release of System Platform 2017. This is Update 3. In Update 3, there's new versions of InTouch HMI, InTouch Web Client, InTouch Access Anywhere, The Historian and its Clients, Application Server, InTouch OMI, OI Core, and the Licensing Platform. Plus, we've added two new applications to the System Platform, the System Management Server and the Sentinel System Monitor. Let's get right into the details. The new system management server gives the system the ability to encrypt end-to-end -end communications between nodes, including SuiteLink, Message Exchange, and the InTouch web client, just to name a few. Its core function is to create, distribute, and maintain trusted certificates within your system. The Sentinel System Monitor is a global customer support product that we've integrated into System Platform, where it will monitor and alert on issues related to the license server and license acquisition. It has a lot of additional features, which are available through various customer first programs. The licensing platform, now on its third major release, has gotten an important update that allows customers to replace their primary or secondary license servers after a hardware failure without having to call into technical support. The new repair function is under the Manage section of the License Manager. We've updated the Language Assistant to support Office 365. InTouch HMI's Trend Pen element got two new features. The Trend Pen can now be configured to visually fill the area under the curve. You can set the fill color and style through the Fill Style Animation, the Element Style Animation, or even via scripting at runtime. The other feature is the ability to configure the Trend element to backfill with historical data from InTouch LGH files. You provide a UNC path to where the LGH files are stored, and the Trend Pen takes care of the rest. The Insight Publisher, which connects your on prem InTouch application to the cloud, is now an integral part of the InTouch Application Manager. The publisher can also be launched from within WindowMaker in the context of the application that you're editing. Moving on to the InTouch web client, we'll see that it received a very powerful new feature it will automatically convert the regular alarm client or the historical trend client into a web equivalent, which is then displayed in a browser at runtime. The configuration of the alarm client in the graphic editor is retained. Notice how the EAC's relative size and location are retained when displayed in the web. This same functionality allows the web client to display the web version of the historical trend client at runtime. The configuration setup in the Orchestra Graphic Editor is retained and used by the web version of the trend client. The web version interactions are almost identical, although some are actually upgrades from the existing desktop client. The InTouch web client's navigation tree is now searchable, which reduces the time needed to find and bring up specific graphics you may be looking for. With the integration of the system management server and its certificate management capabilities, the web client now fully supports HTTPS.
which provides pure end-to-end -end encryption between your web browser and the web client's server. We added a new animation to our Kester graphics, the hyperlink animation. Using a static string or an expression, you specify the URL you want to display and the animation will open that URL in the default browser at runtime. Using a custom property or a compound expression to dynamically set the URL based on the context of the app makes it possible to create a very rich user experience. The same functionality works in the InTouch web client, which opens the URL in a new tab within the same browser instance. The story in 2017 update three, we have a new Excel add-in. This doesn't fully replace the historian client Excel add-in, but it is a good solution for customers needing Excel 2016 64-bit support. Also supports 32-bit. It's based off the Aviva Insight Excel add-in. We've had dashboards in Historian Insight for a while, but now we have a lot more flexible layout. More control over the sizing position of each tile. And it's easy to add additional content. We've long had the ability to do periodic summary statistics in Historian. Have a new slice by capability for doing event-based summaries. In this example, we're summarizing the flow rate for each time the valve position changes. I can also do overall summaries. In this case, I'm showing by batch phase or batch statistics for each batch. That's Historian 2017 Update 3. Customers have often requested a way to force an InTouch OMI View app to run read-only, even if it isn't configured that way in the IDE. This is now possible through a new attribute in the View Engine. Setting this attribute to true will force all View app instances hosted on this View Engine to run in read-only mode. InTouch OMI has received a lot of attention for this update. I'll only highlight some of the bigger features, so be sure to check the release notes for a complete list of all the new features and functionality that we've delivered. We've added a new capability to our Kester graphics that enables customers to create zoomable hotspots with their very large graphics and background images. Take, for example, this map of the Tokyo subway that I want to display in my application. It's too big to put on the screen and have it be readable, so users will need to zoom in. But instead of forcing them to manually zoom in, hoping to keep the right spot centered each time, I'll use the new zoom properties to make hotspots that they can click on for a perfect zoom every time. I'll put a button onto the map where a user may want to zoom into. Then I'll use the zoom percent, zoom center x, and zoom center y properties to create my hotspot. Now at runtime, when the user clicks this button, the graphic will zoom in perfectly they can zoom back out to see the big picture again. We can't wait to see what cool user experiences that you'll create with this new capability. For users of touch-based systems, we've updated all of our built-in apps to respond to the new Optimize for Touch system setting, which causes the apps to render slightly differently and respond to touch more effectively. For example, 
The navigation tree is much easier to interact with using touch when it is in this mode. The same is true for the breadcrumb and the content presenter apps. as well as the web browser app. The navigation tree app now has search functionality built in. This makes it a lot easier to find your assets, graphics, and custom navigation items. The alarm app and the historical trend app were both updated for this release. The alarm app now has an optional area hierarchy filter tree which will automatically filter the list of alarms to the selected area. This can be enabled and disabled at runtime. We also added a command bar that exposes the most commonly used commands. The Trend app is now able to automatically add pens for each of the historized attributes of the current asset. Pens can be manually added as well. Another major feature is the addition of external content items. This new GTB item type is a way to reference externally stored items like websites, documents, videos, etc., and then link those references to assets and templates. At runtime, InTouch OMI will determine the correct viewer, where to place the content, and then put it all together for a seamless user experience. In this example, the URL for the news website in the Northeast was created as an external content item and linked to that asset. At runtime, OMI picked the web browser app to display it and placed it into the correct pane automatically. The same was done for the weather website for the Southeast. We have updated the OMI rendering engine to support advanced numeric formatting. In this example grid of numbers, any value below 100 has two digits to the right of the decimal place, whereas any value of 100 and above has only one. And lastly, we are very happy to announce that InTouch OMI now supports connectors and connection points. Well, that wraps it up for this release of System Platform 2017. We hope that you can take advantage of all the new features and capabilities that we packed into Update 3. See you next time.